guys have probably not been trading cryptocurrency as much as you usually would because of Bitcoin's steep downtrend and risky trades on it because it's been going down for such a long time. A lot of people are scared to short it, scared to long it because it's still going down. So today I'm going to end the age old question, when will Bitcoin reverse? I'm going to tell you guys my reasoning behind this and why I really think this can be a big turnaround for Bitcoin. Now, I do want you guys to keep in mind this is not financial advice and also I do think that on this day, there will be a movement upwards that does not mean an entire market reversal. We could still stay on this downtrend, but we will have an upwards movement around this time, and I do think it will be very interesting to see play out. Anyways, so recently we have seen this extremely steep downtrend on Bitcoin, obviously, and uh, you know we've had multiple attempts to break it with failure each and every time. Uh, recently, we did see this move right here where a lot of people thought it would finally retest the wedge once again and break out, but sadly it did fall due to whales selling off, and that is obviously a very big power in cryptocurrency. Uh, you know, just people who hold a lot of it and they can really control the markets. So it's always something to keep in mind, even if there is news, even if there is, you know, a bullish view from the technical analysis standpoint. There can always be a whale or a person who just sells off at some random time, rendering everything else useless. That's always something to watch out for. So something very interesting I wanted to show you guys here is first the Adam and Eve pattern that is forming on Bitcoin. This is a double bottom on, uh, you know, any sort of trading stock, anything uh, it's a double bottom pattern where you have a sharper uh, test of a support. So for example, that would be this one right here uh, where you would name it the Atom that is called Atom. And uh, that was at around 6000 just below uh, $6,000 for Bitcoin. And, uh, and then we see the Eve here, which is a little bit more uh, careful. You'll have a longer period where you will be hitting that support. So as you can see here, we're going down a lot slower this time instead of this steep downtrend. We're going to retest the support, and then likely we are going to go up for these reasons. Uh, so that is called the Adam and Eve pattern. It is a double bottom pattern, uh, which is a very bullish uh, move for any uh, you know, chart for any technical analyst uh, because the double bottom shows that there is a strong support, there is some buy pressure, and uh, that you are likely going to continue to go up after that move. So that's the first thing I wanted to point out, but this next thing is a little bit more interesting. So as you guys may know, the tax day in the US this year is April 17th. That is the deadline for taxes, and obviously there is quite a big connotation for taxes in cryptocurrency since a lot of people, you know, do have to, you know, go around and track all of their trades in order to pay taxes. Now, this is actually quite a big thing as it is estimated that traders will have to pay around $25 billion in uh, capital gains taxes this year just from the US. And that is quite a bit of Bitcoin to be sold. Obviously, not everyone will be selling all of their Bitcoin to pay taxes, but there will be quite a sell off as we can already see here from uh, certain traders, you know, selling off just to pay those taxes and then return trading later. So why this date is important is because not only is it the tax deadline for not only traders, but also exchanges, obviously exchanges are bringing in, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars each year and uh, they also have to pay taxes and obviously they get all the revenue in cryptocurrency so they will have to be selling that off. So not only do you have all of that sell pressure but why the state is also very interesting here is because if you guys do not know this is the RSI uh, this is relative strength index. It is an indicator that you can use in order to determine when a coin is oversold or overbought. It's a very important indicator as uh, normally, especially on longer periods such as one day. This is the one day chart on Bitcoin. You can see here whenever Bitcoin is oversold, a lot of the time there is quite a big move after that. 
and we can see that you know multiple times in the past we saw it right here uh, with the initial dip it was oversold as you can see here the RSI went down to 35 uh, and then it reversed up you saw that once again uh, on this dip uh, on this dip is a little bit smaller obviously it's not very over oversold but uh, you can't see that there and also more recently this previous big upwards move from 6,000 to 12,000 that's a hundred percent you would double your money if you made that trade uh, was also from a point where the RSI was oversold so obviously RSI can be a very con big contributing factor to Bitcoin and so something very interesting that we have seen here on the RSI is obviously after it hitting 30 right here at this point we did see it rebound and now it is retesting for the double bottom once again and we are seeing some resistance on the RSI here as you can see it has retested this uh, trend line right here multiple times, three times now. And uh, this is what is called a bullish divergence, where if the RSI does end up breaking out, that is a very bullish um, indicator for Bitcoin, basically saying that it will reverse and it will start to go up once again. Uh, now, the thing to keep in mind is that this is a longer period, so that can be that can mean a bigger move than you know something like on a 30-minute uh, chart. So that is something to keep in mind. But something very interesting here is that we do see if you do follow this trend line all the way to the end where it does hit 30 here. So uh, around this zone, we would be hitting 30, which is the oversold point for the RSI where there will be a lot of buy pressure that does actually land very, very close, as you can see here to April 17th, which is the date that taxes do finally uh, end for in the US, which is a very big point. So not only are we seeing this very bullish RSI pattern on Bitcoin, but it does also end right on the date where people start stop paying taxes. And so that is why I think we are getting very close to a Bitcoin reversal. Now, obviously, I do want to say once again, this is not financial advice. There are much more experienced traders out there than I am uh, who have also shared other opinions to this, maybe saying it's going to continue to go down. But there is also other evidence uh, saying to why this is a very big point and why there's a very strong chance that we could see a reversal soon. So once again, I do just want to end this video saying, you know, hold on to your Bitcoin. We have seen some very smart people have some very high estimates uh, for the end of this year. And, you know, I think if you buy some Bitcoin, I think you should start accumulating uh, right now. I think, you know, once you get down to these points, especially as we get closer to this date, uh, April 17th or even earlier, uh, you know, you really do want to be watching Bitcoin. And once again, the entire market follows Bitcoin. So not only will you want to be watching Bitcoin, but also altcoins. I am going to tell you guys that now. Hopefully you do follow uh, what I say. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully this m did make you think about Bitcoin. Uh, you know, hopefully you guys are supportive of the reversal. Remember to join my giveaway for two EonBot licenses by liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel and leave your email in the description. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.